run up the hill, dive into the sea. Slide, roll, skip and jump. Mud on my face, fun in every place. Round the world, making new friends. Sing a song, clap your hands. Jungle beat, cool and neat. Animal, Animal friends, friends, swing to the beat. Come on, everybody, join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. The Electric Eel <coughs> Oh, hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look at this, Hero. It's a boat I made out of leaves. Now, time to test it out. Hmm. It looks kind of lonely. I know. I'll make a boat for you too, Hero. There. Now we can have a boat race. We'll start blowing our boats on the count of three. Ready, Hero? One, two, three. Ah! Could it be some kind of snake? We must have disturbed it with our boat race. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. I've just sent you a photo of an animal we found in the pond. But I'm not sure what it is. Hi, Leo. That certainly is an interesting animal you found. Can you find some information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero. You stay here and keep watch, okay? I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. <coughs> Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an electric eel. An electric eel? Can it make electricity? It sure can. An electric eel is a kind of fish that uses electricity to stun its prey and defend itself from predators. The electric eel can produce electricity because it has special organs that allow it to store power, just like batteries. That's a really neat skill. What else does the electric eel use its electricity for? The electric eel has poor eyesight so it uses electricity to sense its surroundings and find prey. The electric eel does this by releasing a low-level electric charge, which it uses like a radar. I see. What kind of food do electric eels eat? Electric eels eat sea creatures like fish, crabs, and shrimps. Some also eat small animals like frogs and birds. Electric eels live in South America, where they can be found in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers. Hmm, it's too dangerous for the fish in our pond to live with the electric eel. We should bring the electric eel back to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the Orinoco River, Junior Rangers. We are at one of the longest rivers in South America. Ah, I see you've brought an electric eel with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring it back home. That's great, Leo. But you must be careful not to touch the electric eel directly. If it feels threatened, it might zap you with strong electricity. Oh dear, we'll be careful, Ranger Rocky. Electric eels prefer shallow water along streams and rivers where it is easier for them to surface. Although they have gills, electric eels are mainly air breathers. 
This means electric eels cannot survive if they do not rise to the water's surface to breathe air through their mouths. Electric eels also like to live in calm, muddy waters near the riverbed, where they can stay hidden from prey and predators. So if you want to find a home for the electric eel, keep a lookout for calm water. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a large flowing river, and on this side is a calm stream with shallow water. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a large flowing river, and over there is a calm stream with shallow water. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the calm stream with shallow water because there it's easier for electric eels to surface for air and they can stay hidden from prey and predators. Let's go. We're almost there. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, it's a river monster. That's not a river monster, Leo. That's an anaconda. Anacondas are the largest snakes in the world. They also have large appetites and prey on anything they can eat. It's wrapping itself around the float. The anaconda must think the jeep is food. No, Hero. The anaconda can swallow you whole. We could get the electric eel to help us. It can zap the anaconda and scare it away. Be careful, Katie. I have these rubber gloves to protect me from the eel's electricity. I have to make sure I don't touch the water with my skin. <coughs> the electric eel is too heavy. Let me help you, Katie. There it goes. The electric eel zapped the anaconda. Look, it's letting go of the float. Now. Let's put the eel back in the tank and get out of here. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the electric eel's home, just look for calm, muddy water. Not for a chubby otter or a fly swatter, but look for calm, muddy water. I see. So not for a chubby otter, or a fly swatter, but, but look, look for, for calm, calm muddy, muddy water. water. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the electric eel's home, you have to look for calm, muddy water. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be calm and muddy water. Could that be the electric eel's home? No, the water is too clear. Eels prefer muddy water. Let's continue. Is that the electric eel's home? Hmm, the water is muddy, but the water doesn't look calm at all. So let's move on. What about this place? The water seems calm and it's muddy. So this is a perfect home for the electric eel. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the electric eel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! an electric eel in our garden. We learned that electric eels produce electricity to stun prey and scare away predators. We also learned that electric eels live in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers. So we went to the Orinoco River and brought the electric eel back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. 
Mission accomplished!